What's up YouTube? Sky the one guy here and today we're gonna to be opening up the 2010 Dragon Knight Draco Equest or Equest Probably butchering that name, but uh, a very old 5ds collectible tin from 2010 so that's 10 years ago this tin was made um, It comes with some really cool packs. So Stardust Overdrive Absolute Power Force and Shining Darkness so all three sets that have chances at ultimate rares and ghost rares That's what we really want to see in this video um, but any one hollow will make me happy from the five packs. So um, this tin came from the uh, Collection of old tins that I bought. It's a video. I posted about a week or two ago um, got a whole big box of tins uh, like this one from a uh, Seller and there was like 25 sealed tins. So definitely check that video out and let me know what tin you want me to open up next um, Also, I just opened up the majestic red dragon tin from this same set, the 2010 uh, collectible tins. So check that video out if you haven't already. So uh, one minute worth of talking, that was probably too much. Let's cut open this uh, Konami shrink wrap off of this tin. Kind of want to be careful. I do like keeping some of these tins. They had, they did a pretty good job on some of these um, and they're becoming harder and harder to find, you know, every day. So, um, and these come with, you know, I think, oh, sorry, bump the camera, there's that. Uh, I think these are really like kind of under underrated not really under undervalued, but just underrated um, Just you know all these packs have a chance at ultimate rares and ghost rares and uh, some really cool stuff, so Here's the pamphlet. Um, I did show this in the last video, but uh, still some really cool stuff in here They show the old tins uh, uh, that were new at the time uh, the starter deck hidden arsenal Duelist Revolution, Legendary Collection, some really cool stuff on this uh, insert. I would love to buy pretty much any of that product. Um, we'll open up the promos. I don't usually do that, but uh, for these old tins, we'll do it. So here's another insert. So Shonen Jump was discontinued uh, in 2019, I believe. But uh, this is a really old thing where if you signed up for the uh, magazine subscription, you'd get two free promos. So really cool. Really cool old uh, promotion that they did. Let's get these back in here. Um, and yeah, so that's the tin. Very cool tin. Again, here's our packs. Some really old, very nostalgic packs. I have a chance at some really good cards. And Here's our promo pack. Um, with these, if, when I try and open them this way, sometimes it just like puts a little bit too much pressure on the cards. So I like to just cut it, and then they fall right out. So do that real quick. All right. So Dragon Knight Draco Equest. If I said that right, hopefully. Very cool card. Uh, does come in Ghost Rare as well. Um, pretty cool. Then we have Archfiend of Gilfer, the Wicked Dreadroot, very cool card. Look at that. Dark Arm Dragon, very iconic card, very good card. And Dragonic Knight, so some really good uh, reprints here. I think these were all Shonen Jump promos. I believe those three were. And um, yeah, some really good cards in there. So love the promos that they chose for this. Really good job. And now let's check out these packs. So, get those laid out here a little bit. Four minutes in before we even open up a pack. Wow, sloppy pack opening channel. Sorry guys, I'm just enjoying this tin. It's not really the cheapest one to open, so. Um, yeah, so Stardust Overdrive has a chance at Blackwing, or sorry, has a chance at Majestic Star Dragon. Um, Absolute Power Force has a chance at Majestic Red Dragon, and Shining Darkness has a chance at Black Wing Dragon. So, those uh, Ultimate Rares slash Ghost Rares are the uh, the best we could possibly hope for. But uh, we'll take any one Hollow from these five packs. So, that is our goal of the video. Let's see if we can do it. Four minutes in. Sorry about the delay. For those of you that don't uh, don't want to hear my rambling, you can uh, hopefully skip through all that. And here we go, first pack, starting out with a Spore, really good card. Second booster, Battery Man AAA. Oh, Genix Neutron Secret Rare, 
right off the bat first pack wow wow that is amazing what an awesome pull very cool genix neutron from the shining darkness let me get a sleeve for that it is unlimited because it's from the tens but uh it's a secret rare from an old set i mean this set is like 10 years old now so that is very cool to have a pack fresh secret rare pulled on the channel from that uh shining darkness set so really good way to start off the video very happy with that so thank you to this tin maybe we can get really lucky and get a second holo but uh no matter what that's our quota for the video one holo and we're good so electromagnetic shield then we have worm call genix controller really good call in there card breaker and forbidden graveyard okay let me um See, I'm gonna just fix these. That there, that there. And let's go into the second Shining Darkness pack. Alright, Shining Darkness. Very cool old set from 5Ds. And we have Watt Fox, Black Winged Strafe. Bio Falcon, Assault Spirits, and Genix Searcher. Okay, not bad. Archfiend Interceptor, very cool. I don't know what's going on there. Like a sports player with a bunch of arms. Uh, Card Breaker, Blossom Bombardment, Orphtronic Vacuumin. All right. <clears throat> really happy with those Shining Darkness packs. Now let's get into Absolute Power Force. Again, uh, Majestic Red Dragon is the cover card that comes in Ultimate Rare and Ghost Rare and Ultra Rare as well. Um, we also just opened the tin, uh, the Majestic Red Dragon tin um, from this same series of tins uh, in another video. So definitely check that video out if you haven't already. Alright, here we go. First pack of Absolute Power Force. Variety comes out is the... First card, then we have Advanced Force, or Advanced Force, Sword Master. Wow, that's really cool looking. Okay. Call of the Reaper. Visor Dez, okay. Rare. Destruct Potion. Oil Man. Inverse Universe. And Psy Curse. All right, let's see if we can get one more hollow in these last two packs. So our last chance at absolute power force, here we go. Fourth pack of the video, Ritual of Destruction, Unicycler, Temple of the Sun. Oh, Drill Warrior, ultra rare, nice. Awesome, very cool to see Drill Warrior from its original set in Ultra Rare. That is a good pull. I will definitely take that. Getting two hollows from a 10 back in the day was a plus. I mean, that was hard to do. So I will definitely uh, take these two hollows. Okay, then we have a uh, Berf Berfomet Rare, Rose Fairy, Lair Wire, Reptilian Gardena, and Viper's Rebirth. Now let's get into the last pack of the video. Stardust Overdrive, they only gave us one of this pack, um, has a chance at Majestic Star Dragon. That is the cover card and the uh, card that we would want. Okay, last pack magic. Can we get a third holo? Um, that'd be pretty greedy to ask for that, so I'm not really expecting it at all, but uh, let's see if we can do it. So, Tack Pheromones, Woodland Archer. Look at that artwork. Look at that detail. That is really nice. Uh, Dark Spider. Oh, we actually did get a third holo. Wow. Three holos out of five packs. That is really hard to do. So Fortune's Future Super Rare. And if I remember right, this is actually like a $10, $10 card, $10, $15 card um, in its original set. So that is actually a really good pull. I could be wrong on that price, but I'm pretty sure this is one of the ones that went up. Uh, quite a bit for the uh, fortune ladies so 
really cool super rare three hollows wow really nice um okay and then we have oh speaking of fortune ladies fortune lady dark i think that's one of the most expensive rares for the fortune ladies then we have infinity force spider spider molting escape and ground spider so <clears throat> that's the it for the dragon knight draco equest 2010 collectible tin um yeah so Dark Arm Dragon, Wicked Dreadroot, uh, Dragon Knight, we got Fortune's Future, Drill Warrior from its original set, and a Secret Rare Genix Neutron. So I'd like to say this is a very successful uh, old school tin opening. Hopefully you guys can give me a like if you did enjoy it and subscribe for more of these old tins opened up. Uh, go check out my other openings. And uh, also I did a Legend of Blue Eyes opening, 24 loose packs, and had some insane pulls. So go check that out. And uh, yeah, I'll have some more cool videos coming up soon. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.